Hey everyone, welcome to another Adventures with Smiles. We are at part two here now of the legend of the Loch Ness, and we are at the village of Nguagwe. So after, after the horribleness of what happened to Lilac, the kids is definitely want to get out of here there. So they made, they wait for the snow to melt a little bit more, got all their seeds for the, for the summer plantation, and made the 40 kilometer trail to this village for the, the season. Now, this is, was a Scottish village, and in this house here, this was the steward's house. And the steward's house was Isla Laura. Sorry, Isla Laura. That is just something around me. Isla Laura, uh, Agnes, Bridget, and Aline. And, and the stewards, this is where they lived in. They had, a, they had a pretty big house here. And I'll show you around the back here. This was the storm cellar in case of any any uh, tornadoes that came in. And uh, they had a full back pantry area for all their food. They had that they had the largest estate on the property. Now in the in the back here, and there was the loo. That's where everybody went to the washroom. Down the back here where we're walking towards right now. This is where the Mackenzies held out. I won't walk all Oh uh, yeah. We're just about there to get a good view. It's a little bit a little bit smaller, but but it is still in great shape. It's just just back there in the corner. They had a little chicken coop. Also a pantry in the back there. We'll go a little bit farther. Pantry in the back there. And and in these houses, you see that get it up here. That's that. Uh, these houses all got burnt down in the Great Fire of 1856. The it definitely was a drought that, that year, and and uh, and there was some trading going on with with uh, the niche, uh, native tribes around here and they uh, one of the daughters uh, a Romeo and Juliet story one of their daughters the she she uh, sorry <laughs> I just gotta catch my breath so I'm going through some deep snow here uh, the, one of the, the daughters of the this the the Campbells over there married a, the the chief of the tribe, and maybe I'll go more into this in another video. But uh, they ended up hooking up, and they just destroyed the relationship between the native tribes and and the tribes that are here. And the job was having that year too, so the native tribes are supplying these, ooh, supplying these citizens with a lot of, a lot of food. And when it was found out, well, the native tribes burnt down the, their houses, and they ended up moving out west farther. But back to, back to the story of this. So they came here, and right off the bat. There's also a love story here. Right off the bat, Bridget and Agnes had eyes for each other. They just, they were just two peas in a pod. And they, they started writing each other right away. They, they, uh, they, yeah, just couldn't keep their hands off. Hands, well, actually, yeah, they can't keep their hands from connecting hands because that was quite naughty back in those days, even going that far. So, so yeah, it was a great harvest throughout the year. The, there have been no more signs of the, the, the Loch Ness. The, they thought the Mackenzies had thought they had escaped it all and were in great shape. And 
they thought they that that memory from their horrible memory they could never escape of seeing what happened to Lilac and how she was taken. But the grief, the sadness, the tears had had stopped. They had some peace of mind, and they were able to focus on the the harvest, planting their seeds for wheat and corn. And it's a great, great summer of great, great summer of of, a har of, of the harvest, and and they uh, and they yeah they had a great harvest. And at the end of the fall, they they celebrated by having a huge party. A huge bonfire in the front of the steward's place here, and also at this time they're also celebrating the marriage took place of of Bridget and Agnes, and they became one. And ooh, two two seconds here. This is really windy. Yeah, they had the party right over here, right over here. And it's a great celebration. The, they became they became one, and they moved actually into this. It's a little smaller, but they all they had really on the property. They moved into this little the steward uh, stewards moved into this little place right in here, and became the keepers of the of the land. Now also Agnes was also the head of like all the ammunitions of settling making relationships because after the the 1950s what happened he the stewards definitely had a huge uphill battle of of uh, getting the trust of their native whoa okay I gotta be careful here this is really icy <laughs> sorry to say Oh, it's wiped out there. The yeah, the stewards did a great job and got the got the. Let's see how I'm gonna get around this. They they uh, I just gotta find a way to get around this huge ice fields here. They uh, built trust. Trade was back to back to normal with their Native American friends. The even even Agnes went out on the. Out fighting, out hunting buffalo with them, which is a great honor. And I see. Just give me two seconds here. Just gotta get to this bottom of this little hill. And uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, they uh, they build great relations relations with them try it, and everything was perfect so a few days after their after their uh, wedding Bridget had become pregnant pretty fast so one, e one evening at dusk they had they had uh, come down here. They're super happy, lo loving embrace, and uh, and they came down to this spot because they had to finish the fishing at dusk at for the end of the evening, and and uh, Agnes was casting out, and they heard some rustling behind them, but they thought no thought of it. And and also Bridget was putting out some fragrances to not attract any bears. So they knew there were no bears in the area. They just thought, oh yeah, it's just some, um, it's just some um, caribou or deer or something like that, or some squirrels or knocking down acorns. So they took paid no attention to it. And so they continued on. And then, then all of a sudden. The Loch Ness hopped out of the water, right in, right in this river here, grabbed onto his, grabbed onto Agnes's arm, 
ripped it out of its socket. Agnes tried with his one arm to get up to the bank again, but Lugnut grabbed him in, and one big, big bitey bit off his head and threw the rest of the bodies in the water. Now, Bridget, as you can imagine, was in a complete shock. She, she first tried to throw, picked up some rocks and threw it at the Lugnut, trying to trying to get it to go away and let go of her husband. But at the point when she saw, like, his head was gone. And all the blood just gushing everywhere. Ugh. She was just enraged. But she knew she had no chance. So she started to run back to... Back to the... Back to uh, the stewards. To get some, I mean, uh, get some guns on them to try to kill this lock now. So you can see the, the little bit of incline up ahead there. That's as far as she got. She, the Lochner had grabbed her, and started, and put her over, put Lochner put her over the shoulder and carried, carried her along this, the bottom of that little hill there, and carried her along the the river bank here, down the river. She's screaming, and Lori, Naisla. And Albert grabbed, grabbed some guns and started chasing her down the river here. And they could see, as you can see, they could still see her in the distance. And they kept on running. And right about when they got to this point here, they could hear a gunshot. And then they could see some other people coming down the riverbank, right over that direction over there. And they could see they, they were definitely shooting towards the Loch Ness. And when they got over here, it's got a bit more way, a bit more way to go. Now he's some, so there's definitely an adventure getting through all this snow. So they got all the way to the one good sprint and they got here as soon as they possibly could. He ran up this little bit of an incline. Yeah, I gotta show you guys just what I'm walking through right now. So they continue coming along here. And up this, up this little bank here. So the trap, the the people that are coming that fight towards the Loch Ness, were the friends of the stewards, the two salts. They, they had been coming with some furs, beaver furs, bear furs to do some trading. And they had saw just across on the other side of that river bank there. They had saw. So I go, oh, come on. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to crawl a little bit. They had put a bullet. <laughs> Alright. The things I do. That's one. They put a bullet into the shoulder of the Loch Ness and. And they heard a couple more fires, fires after, because as the Loch Ness, I'm just going to show you the Nusha River here. The, right where that stick is pointing out of the ice there, the Loch Ness was still, still had a great amount of strength. This was a beast. And he definitely he continued swimming with because that really didn't have much effect on on the shot on the shoulder. He put he put uh, the 
So I just gotta catch my breath. It put, put Bridget on his shoulder and kept on swimming across the river.